I didn't realise I had so much stuff. I've had a few drinks. I don't... Oh. <laughs> Guys, I've underestimated how many clothes I've got. What the hell? We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Woo! Jesus Christ. Goodbye, old flat. Okay, guys, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Life is good. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> Take out. <laughs> no, <late. laughs> okay, guys, hi. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I haven't even like got into this video, but obviously you all know by the title. I am moving. This is my first moving vlog. Oh my god. Okay. Whew, it's actually feeling real now that I'm actually like videoing it and it's actually happening. Currently looks quite put together behind me. I tell you what, my house is not put together right now. Like the weather is actually so nice today, which is obviously, as you guys know, putting a smile on my face. The weather makes such a difference to how I feel. Um, so today is Wednesday the 19th, and I'm moving on the 21st of May. So that is Friday morning. Ah, I can't wait. I literally can't wait. I'm so excited. I mean packing has commenced it definitely has I'll show you around my house in a second But I've got so much more to do. It's actually ridiculous I'll be taking you along with me kind of like packing up some stuff and saying goodbye to my friends Basically, it's just gonna be like the next couple of days of me packing up and like kind of the days running up to me actually moving house Oh my god, I can't believe this is finally happening <laughs> Okay, Also, actually I just want to add in whilst I'm I was just cleaning out some bags like you know when you just have loads of like handbags that you haven't used in like literally years I'm gonna put some in the charity box I was going through them and just being like right making sure I don't there's nothing in there that I need or like, there's nothing in there that like anybody's gonna you know what I mean I was cleaning out my bags to be able to take them to the charity shop and I found this Today's a good day guys. I found a fiver in my bag. I'm gonna give you a little quick I'm gonna show you around my flat basically and show you the state that it is in and then we're gonna start doing some Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hello. Oh, hi. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Sorry, I missed your call before. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm just going to give you a little, like, look around my flat and you can see basically what we're dealing with um, and how much of a mess it is. Um, I'm kind of, like, embarrassed to show you, but whatever. So, as we come in the front door, obviously the front door's here and you come in and this is what we're dealing with. So, we've got this thing here which I'm actually going to take with me. I've taken all my shoes off of it and put them in a box already, but I'm going to take that with me, but right now I don't really know where else to put it. So, it's just staying there empty for now. These are the shoes I've been wearing... Don't know why that's not on there. These are the shoes I've been wearing over the next couple of days. Also, please ignore the carpet. It's muddy. I've been in and out and loads of stuff all the time. This is obviously empty. You guys know that was a lot more full. So they're just the bags I'm using kind of at the moment. As you go in the bathroom, I mean, bathroom doesn't really look much different. I still need to use it pretty much like a normal bathroom. Although, definitely should open that because it is like way past midday. And then, okay, so this is where it gets bad. So you come in here. This is my bedroom. Oh my goodness. Okay. I have obviously had the two rows here. So I've like taken all the stuff off of there. Those up on there are like all my trousers. So they need to stay there. The rest of it is kind of packed. This wardrobe is still full. So I need to deal with that. Although I've taken all the stuff away from up there, which is great. These two boxes are charity boxes or Depop or whatever I decide to do with them. Also today, I'm actually going to do it next. I think I'll need to take down all these prints, wrap them in bubble wrap, which I got delivered the other day and put them in a box and then we come in here and oh my goodness okay what the hell like this is just not okay okay so this is what we've got going on here this is a wash obviously like state the flipping obvious Ella that's actually dry I need to take that off the washing line I've got another one in there at the moment because I'm trying to get all my washing done before I go and then this is the current state of packing it's actually silly this suitcase is packed that stuff in there is just like going out tops and dresses I know that's ridiculous and then this side we've got like shorts gym stuff and then just some like leggings and like basic stuff and this box we've got all my shoes and this box we've got all my uh, most of my coats and bags and like hat this bag at the moment bag box at the moment has just got some like soft furniture stuff in it that's empty so that's going to be most of my clothes are going to go in there this one is all my like jogger set or well, most of them anyway uh which is nice that that fits in that big bag this is just like little crop top that's like gifted stuff that i haven't taken photos of yet so that's keeping that separate um <laughs> yeah so as you can see it's a bit of a nightmare this one is actually going home like back to my parents house so i'm just at the moment filling it with stuff that i don't want to keep and then I'm not going to take my bean to Manchester so they can just take that home with them. Do you know what I mean? Also, I've got this whole bag of sweets that I just don't know what to do with them. So, yeah, I just don't know what to do with them. <laughs> my mum gave my kitchen a proper good tidy yesterday. I mean, look at that. Like, obviously, we took most of, like, the appliances off the side and stuff and gave it a really good, nice, clean, tidy. So that's all ready. I haven't spent much time in this flat in the last couple of days, to be honest, because who wants to spend time around this? Like, it is not enjoyable. It makes me feel really uncomfortable. Tidy house, tidy mind, and this house is not tidy. 
understandably, I mean, no one's house is tidy literally two days before they're about to move house. But I need to start getting some stuff in the car so I can actually relax a little bit because it's really, it's stressing me out. Like, it's actually stressing me out so much. I need to go and buy some more bin bags, fun, and some bleach because we are actually, we haven't done end of tenancy clean, but I kind of want to make it as clean as I possibly can because you get paid hourly and I don't really want them to be here like eight hours. Like, it should only take them like four or five hours realistically. I need to go into town, grab some stuff. And then tonight, which is actually very exciting, which I will take you with me, um, maybe, I don't know, I might maybe vlog some stuff on my phone. I'm not 100% sure yeah, but I'm actually going out in Oxford with my workmates because obviously I'm leaving my work and I'm actually so gutted um, I've literally kind of just started getting not just started getting along with them I've already got along with them But like just started being like really good friends with them and like it's just really really such a shame When you make good friends with someone at work and then you have to leave But we're gonna go out tonight, which is so exciting We're gonna go to slug and lettuce and then we're gonna go play junk girl golf So my manager's obsessed with junk girl golf and I love it. What time is it? I don't know. Okay, so it's 20 past 12 I really need to crack on because I need to be ready at 5 o'clock and so much stuff needs doing like it's actually silly Okay, so I've done so much more since I've spoken to you. I feel like I'm really, really getting there. I really want to get as much of it done today as possible because I want to, like, enjoy myself and see my friends and stuff like that, um, like, all day tomorrow and stuff like that. I just heard stuff like that twice in that sentence. Really great. So I'm going to show you where I've got to. So this is now what my bedroom is looking like. So we've got all of the stuff off of there. This is all empty here too. I'm going to try and sell this like unit thing and this. I'm just going to put it on Facebook and see if anybody wants it. That stuff's in there because I literally use it every day. This stuff over here. So that is all like charity and like selling stuff apart from those couple of bits on the top because they need to go back to somebody else. All these drawers are empty, which is like the nicest feeling. That's all done. These are all empty too. So they're literally, this is the stuff that I'm going to be wearing over the next couple of days. I literally like the last three days there. And apart from that, those drawers are empty. So the next thing to do really is basically sort out like what I'm going to need over the next three days or something like that. And maybe a little bit more because I want to be able to like access stuff easily when I get to Manchester instead of having to like rummage through loads of suitcases. So I basically need to sort out what I need over the next couple of days and then I can pack everything else into the suitcases. I don't know if they're going to go in. We'll give it a go because we've also got this stuff in here. But that is literally it. So it's just all of those clothes and all of those clothes that need to go in suitcases now. As for the living room. Okay, so I didn't realise I had so much stuff. And now I'm just really stressed. Like, look at it. Like, what the hell? So I've also put all my, like, underwear and stuff in here as well. Oh, also, guys, look at these new slippers. Kit's mum gave them to me. They're literally beautiful. They're, like, I don't know if you can see. They're, like, kind of, like, crisscrossed. And they're, like, just super fluffy. Yeah, anyway, I've put all of my, like, underwear, bras, pants, socks in there. I've got... This one is pretty much full now, and I'm actually quite surprised by it. I don't even know how I filled it up. Oh, look. I've also got Winnie the Pooh coming with me, because he just has to come with me everywhere I go. And then I've got this mirror, which I am going to take, because I'm pretty sure there will be a mirror there. Like, surely they'll have a mirror, but you just never know. And a girl cannot have a mirror, so we're taking that. But yeah, this is the current situation, and it's really stressing me out, to be honest with you. This is the pile of stuff here that is going back to my parents. Yep, the smallest pile is the pile that's going back to my parents. I now need start these drawers because they're full of just like honestly random crap i actually have no idea what is in them but i think i'm gonna have a little break i can't remember what time it is honestly i i'm kind of have my phone on me all day it's 20 to 3 so i definitely need to have some lunch the sun has just come out again honestly earlier it started like thunderstorming and now the sun is out again it's the weirdest weather it's actually unbelievable i just don't know what i fancy like i actually just i don't know i've got some wraps maybe i'll have like a tuna wrap do i fancy that i don't even know if i do fancy that to be honest with you oh i've also got some pasta i'm gonna have pasta Woo! okay so i kind of want to talk to you a little bit about my move like whilst pasta's just cooking i'll just have a little chat i honestly feel like every single emotion about this right now like it's so strange like I'm, don't get me wrong like i am so excited like i know that it's literally going to be like one of the best things that i've ever done but i'm i'm also like there's so many other emotions going on as well like it's it's so weird i've never felt like so overwhelmed with emotions before like maybe it was a little bit like it when i went to uni but very different because obviously uni's very structured and like you're so looked after that it, <laughs> that you basically haven't really moved out but I don't know, I just feel like, I feel so excited, I'm so happy, I'm so sad to be leaving this place because you guys know that this place is literally like, it's like changed my life, like it has like made me who I am without sounding so stupid, like I literally found who I was here and um, I don't know, just what this flat has done for me is like, I have no idea what I'm saying, what the hell am I saying, honestly I literally don't know what I'm talking about, but leaving this flat is obviously like really really sad because this has been my home and I felt really, really safe and happy here. Along with that, I'm I'm really nervous. I'm nervous to kind of like meet new people and like what if they don't like me, like the people around here don't really like me. Like what if 
someone doesn't like me and, and you know I find it really really hard to make friends which I don't think I will because I'm quite like a friendly person like I'll literally be friends with anybody to be honest with you but like what if I find that hard what if I find living with someone else hard obviously I've lived on my own for a year so like that's also another thing what if I find living so far away from my family really difficult hey my mum's calling me anyway I ended up being about a 15 minute conversation so um yeah i literally just feel all emotion right now i can't even remember where i was at um i'm also i mean i'm gutted to be leaving my family i feel like I'm, i am gonna miss them a lot i'm gutted to be leaving um a, a couple of people here like there's a couple of my friends that like you know we've been getting on really really well recently and it's just a shame but they'll have to come up definitely <laughs> um i literally just can't wait for them to all come up and then there's just this guy who is a big part of my life and it's gonna be difficult to leave him too um and i'm gonna have to say goodbye um probably tomorrow and i can't even talk about it because it made me cry so i'm not gonna talk about it but yeah there's a lot of things that i'm thinking about and yeah but the, the excitement is overwhelming hence why i'm still smiling like i am so excited yeah and i just can't wait to take you guys along with the journey like i just think this is just like this is like the start of something new you know like this is like it this is like ah oh, okay no i'm gonna stop because i'm actually getting a bit too excited little deep chat over hi guys oh my god so i haven't spoken to you in ages and i'm now ready to go out so i'm just gonna show you my outfit my parents are coming in a sec because they need to pick up some stuff to take back to their house but i'm just gonna show you my outfit really quickly apologies for the lighting like we can't do anything about it i have got this gorgeous little yellow bandeau on and this cropped blazer and then i've gone for these jeans which i absolutely love they're from new look oh my god they're just stunning i love them i've got my little gucci belt on and then i've got the yellow heels to match anyway i'm really running late if you can't tell um i've got all these these three christmas trees here that my parents are coming to pick up the packing is seriously commencing it's looking a state in here it really really is this is me already i don't know if i, I think i'm gonna take my camera with me and just see like i might end up filming something i might not but i really need to go to sainsbury's because i need to get some pre's as well i'm running really super late so let's go okay guys i just got home my hair looks interesting it's very very flat i've had a few drinks i don't <laughs> don't know if you can tell i've had a couple drinks i'm a little bit tipsy right now but i am making some chicken soup because i need to use it up before i leave and then i'm just gonna go to bed i'm gonna put some maybe a film on actually and just fall asleep to it i will pick up this vlog in the morning i'm just gonna sit and eat my chicken soup now hopefully i'm not too hungover tomorrow i do feel a bit <laughs> i do feel a bit shit right now not i don't feel shit maybe i might feel shit in the morning but I'm, if i eat and drink I should be okay. A mask has really not done the world of good to my face. Right, good night guys. Sorry I didn't film anything. I might put in a couple of clips that I took on my phone, but apart from... Can I stop pick up please? Like, flipping neck. Good night. See you tomorrow. Morning. <laughs> guys, I haven't even looked in the mirror this morning. Oh, oh, okay, interesting. Right, I've decided for my last morning in this town, I'm gonna go to Mackey's. Not like I can't get Mackey's in Manchester, but you know, I just I decided I'm gonna go to Mackey's and have a breakfast because one, I think it's gonna get me out of bed because I'm literally just so in bed right now. I'm so tired. I'm a little bit hungover and the Mackey's will definitely sort that out. So I'm gonna put some clothes on, probably just a jogger set and pop down to Mackey's. And then I've got so much packing to do today. Like I've got so much to do. It's called Mackey's. Oh, I'm just literally about to leave. I just wanted to show you this, what my work friends got me. They just got this little card and they all wrote something in it. Look how cute. So this is just literally the cutest thing ever. And I just want to read one of them out because it's literally the cutest. A lady called Eloise works there and she's just absolutely the sweetest person ever. And she said, you're awesome. You've brought a sparkle to the shop. Don't forget to pack it so you can bring your sparkle wherever you go. So cute, actually so cute. I literally love it. I feel really, really emotional today, like super emotional. You know when you like feel like you, you could cry at any moment, like you feel like you could be on the brink of crying? And it's so weird because like, I'm so excited. Like I'm so happy I'm going and like, I'm so, so excited. Sean has actually got there today. She flew over this morning really early. So she's there today. And the fact that like, she's already there, it's just making me like so much more excited. But at the same time, like, I just feel so, it's nostalgic the right word, I don't know, like I just feel so like, I don't know, I walked into my living room this morning and I was like, oh my god, like, because that flat has just literally just changed my life, like it's just made me so happy and it's like, leaving it is just so difficult. But change is always going to be difficult, do you know what I mean? Change isn't always easy. I don't know, <laughs> I feel stupid. I need food. This is absolutely not the song to be listening to right now, oh my god. But I gotta do what's best for me Stop. <laughs> so guys, Shauna is already there. She's there without me. <laughs> <With all> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so I'm at Mackie's now. I was listening to You've Gotta Go My Own Way from High School Musical on the way here. I so actually bawled my own eyes out. Like, my own eyes out. Of course, they are my own eyes. It's not going to be someone else's eyes. Literally bawled my eyes out. Like, I can't even tell you. Like, listen to that song and put yourself in my position, guys. And you'll understand why. I was literally dying and then I had like a Rihanna song came on next and it was just like an upbeat Rihanna song and I was still crying I was like for God's sake I'll just pull yourself together like I actually don't know how I'm going to do it I don't know how I'm gonna say goodbye I don't know how I'm gonna leave like the thought of it makes me cry like how am I actually gonna do it like so my plan today is basically obviously I'm here at McDonald's now and then I'm gonna go home I've got to edit a video actually I really need to do that but I'm gonna try and do that like in little snippets because I've also got to basically pack the rest of my clothes I have to drive up to Manchester three and a half hour drive tomorrow on my own thinking about the fact that who, who i've just left behind like and i don't know how i'm going to do that without like i'm honestly going to get to manchester and i'm going to look like a freaking train wreck everyone's going to be like what the hell has happened like <laughs> change has to happen for life to move forward you know it really does but seriously go and listen to i've got to go my own way and put yourself in my shoes and just think about think about how that made me feel for a second Okay, so I'm back home now and I actually just wanted to show you guys a couple of things a couple of my friends have got me for leaving and it's so so super cute um, so the first thing I'm gonna start with is this Emily and Tilly when I met them out for dinner the other day they bought this massive bag and it's got so much stuff in it just for like moving out so they got me this little card which is super cute and it says home sweet home on the front and they got just got me a couple of little bits just like for home and for like cleaning stuff and all stuff like that and it's just oh, so exciting they also got me a, like a bottle of Prosecco as well which we love what else did they get so they got me these little placemats that have my initial on it which is unbelievable some body wash some like cleaning sprays these are so nice they literally smell unbelievable oh my goodness um a little loofah whatever it's called some little candles which smell unbelievable and then one of these little ambipure little diffuser things or oh, some little microfiber cloth and then also this which is like a chai spice like latte syrup basically which i'm so excited to try because oh my god it smells like Christmas. Oh, it smells so good. I've actually never had a chai latte, so I'm super excited to try that because, oh my God, that sounds absolutely unbelievable. That was so cute from them, so thank you so much, guys. I love you both so much, and I'm gonna miss you so much. And then I literally just went, as I said, to go and drop Claire's um, hair and her, like, her stuff back to her because I'd had it for so long that I actually forgot it was hers. But yeah, I went to go do that after I went back from McDonald's, and she gave me a little wrapped up present she's like i've got your present for going away and like for helping her out so much with all of the sheets and stuff like that oh my god guys <laughs> okay so the first thing i got is this which is literally so adorable like i actually can't wait to put this on my bed so this is actually from her brand and it's just a little like lv print cushion like how super cute is that is that gonna look like on my bed like i just i love it so much so yeah that's from her brand if you want these please go pick them up because they are unbelievable like they do like a brown gucci one and then a pink gucci one i think i think there might be one more as well but i can't remember what that one is but yeah absolutely love it and then we've been talking about it for quite a while um every time i see her i say that i want one and she's picked one up for me you're actually not ready for this ah! <laughs> she picked me up one of these little like nude nylon prada bags oh my god i'm actually obsessed <sighs> catch me wearing this every single day of the week i don't even care too much honestly too much so yeah it's honestly so cute when people like buy me things i just didn't expect people to buy me things like for leaving like it's like do you know what i mean like it's not my birthday it's not anyone like that i'm just leaving <laughs> but it's so cute and i just yeah i'm so grateful i'm honestly so grateful this room is currently stressing me out I need to do a bit of washing, a bit of editing, a bit of hacking. Okay guys, so hair has gone up looking really atrocious. I've literally just had a shower, so I feel a lot more fresh. I'm now going to tackle putting, I don't know if you can even see the clothes up there, and the clothes in my wardrobe in this suitcase. underestimate how many clothes i've got what the hell so guys this is empty this is actually feeling real now like that is literally just the last bit of my clothes right so i just went and saw kit for lunch it was really really lovely <sighs> i'm gonna miss him really gonna miss him <laughs> change has to happen things have to happen and i'm really excited i am really really excited now sean actually got there earlier today i think i showed you i am really excited now i'm just refraining from crying about saying goodbye like it's just so it's so hard it's fine it'll be fine <laughs> anyway um i'm gonna crack on with a little bit more packing and my mum's gonna come in the next like 10 minutes so my mum arrived about probably about an hour ago now actually and we've been packing stuff in the car and we've actually got so far with it like i'm so surprised how much i've fat fat i've fat that's not the plural of fit fitted 
fat, what is the word? Um, I've put so much in my car. Let me show you. So if anybody has got a Fiat 500 and they're planning on moving house, look how much stuff I've packed in there. Absolutely unbelievable. Pretty much done now. We've got like 45 minutes until we have to go to the pub. Look at my bedroom. Look at this. Feels weird. I wonder if I'll be able to put in like a little clip of when I moved in because it looked exactly like this. So and this is how much stuff we've got left here. So only these four boxes have to go in my mum's car, really. Oh, and that suitcase. And another suitcase. <laughs> but we're getting that. <laughs> right, moving out. Well, moving out hasn't finished. I'm moving out tomorrow. But moving out has... I mean, my car's been fully packed. I'll show you it tomorrow when I get in it. Um, and yeah, my flat is literally completely all empty now, which is so weird, but so nice. I'm really excited. No, I'm so excited. Ben is now just taking me quickly to the pub because it is a little bit raining and I'm a little bit late. So that's great. I'm going to get some food, have a couple drinkies, and yeah. Let's. Ooh, We're going to die. We're going to. Woo! Jesus Christ. That is such. I bet they watched that as well. <laughs> the adults in front of us, I bet they definitely watched you nearly completely ruin yourself. Right guys, the flat is empty. Look at it, it's like how it was when I came. Crazy, craziness. This is my outfit for the drive. We've all seen this many a times. Everything's empty, this stuff obviously mum's bringing on Sunday. Goodbye, old flat. I'm in the car. Oh my god, my eyes are so puffy because I cried so much last night and this morning. <laughs> but what can I say? Um, yeah, I'm in the car, it's all packed. Oh my god, this is so real now. So I'm literally gonna go. I'm gonna get a Greg's to be fair because you know me, like I can't not. So I'm gonna go get a Greg's on the way, and I need to fill up my car actually. Mm. It's not that bad, but I think it does need filling up to be fair. So I think I might just do that whilst I'm here because it's definitely gonna be more expensive than like halfway on the motorway. I'm setting up. Oh my god. It says it's gonna be three hours, so it's gonna be a long old journey, but oh my god. I can't wait to meet Sean. I actually can't wait. Oh my god, this is actually happening. Oh, that dirt on my mask. Lovely. Right, so I've just sat down at Costa. I have to stop because for some reason I've chosen to have my chill playlist on all the way up and I feel like I'm going to fall asleep every five minutes so and I haven't had my coffee this morning um, because I've obviously packed everything from my house like my house is literally empty so I didn't have any coffee or kettle or anything to make a coffee so I've come and got myself a coffee and a ham and cheese tasty so I got my coffee with oat milk because obviously I don't really want to drink milk but then I'm eating cheese so it doesn't really make much sense I've only got about an hour and a half left of the journey so I've done like the most of it Mm, I haven't done the most of it. I've done the majority though. I've done like an hour and 45. Actually proving quite boring, not gonna lie. I'm aiming to get there about 12.30 I think. Sean is at the moment in Primark without me. She's gone to Primark without me. Not happy about that. We are gonna have to go back again later. Yeah, I'm just excited to get there now. Although I really hope it stops raining because it isn't so pleasant. I couldn't even see the car in front of me most of the time. It is quite dangerous to be honest. And because I've got so much stuff in my car, I can't see out the back window. So that's dangerous too. So it's just a pretty dangerous drive to be honest. Good job on an absolute Formula One driver. Hey guys, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I don't know where Sean is. I don't want to get out of the car because I don't know where she's going to be. <laughs> oh my god, say hi. <laughs> what do we do now? I can't remember it now. I think it's this one, isn't it? Is it this one? No, next one. I'm exciting. Oh, I'm not, I know. <laughs> we are in, I'm not going to show you too much of it, but we are going to go to Ikea now to pick up some stuff. I don't even know what we're going to get, but we're probably going to get some stuff. Sean needs a whole duvet set and all like that, so we're going to get some fun bits and I'll show you around Ikea. And then we might get, are we going to get meatballs for lunch? Yeah. Definitely having meatballs yeah. for lunch. I've, I've never had some. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> Guys, look at this. There's a mannequin in the bed, but he's fucking breathing. That is creepy. <laughs> right, we are in Ikea. Yeah, These are cool. There's loads, of, there's loads of stuff we need, but I don't think we're going to get it all straight away because, one, the bank account cannot hack it, but we definitely need basic sleeping stuff, basically. The lighting in here is not the one. What else do we need? Oh, this is a chair. I really, really like this chair. I wanted, that one's saying it's £129. The other one said 99 didn't it? Yeah, it did. Weird. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted. The gold pots, to put those in? Yeah, they're two Yeah, how much are they? Oh, they're here. Oh, 125 <laughs> Should we get two each? Yeah. Because then we can use them, like... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they'll go with the kitchen, fine. I feel like we're going to accidentally spend a lot more money than we're hoping to spend. 
to be honest with you. Like, I feel like it's gonna go a bit crazy. Because I know that I need to get a duvet set and everything. Yeah, and that's expensive. <laughs> uh, what's this gold thing? I just get obsessed with gold things now. I'm just like, oh, I definitely don't need that, but it's cool. <laughs> We're on the pillows and duvets and duvet covers now, which, um, yeah, we both need, basically. But I don't know what colour to go for, because my bed is like, it's like a navy colour. Royal, would you, no, it's not royal blue, it's like navy, isn't it? Yeah. So I think I'm just gonna go for white, to be honest. But then I'm kind of thinking like, do I maybe go, I don't know if you guys can be able to see the color. That's like kind of off-white, like creamy color. I think that could look quite nice, but then I don't know if it would just look dirty. I just don't know. I feel like it can be go either way, really. Yeah, but then do I just go trusty white? But then is that really boring? Like I kind of would want like a textured white one. Like literally that's what I'm trying to explain. Yeah, oh yeah, something like that. Or like, um, waffle material. I'd love a waffle material bed. Maybe I'll go for that. Maybe I'll try and find one that's that. Because I don't mind not getting it from Ikea, to be honest. I really want white towels, but I mean, pff, what is the point? What is the actual point? <laughs> I always find it so amusing how these, like, don't roll down. Like, I think it's so cool. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, they kind of just lock themselves in and then they don't they don't fall, which is so cool. We've actually picked up quite a lot of stuff. Neither of us have found a DV cover that we like. Well, actually, no, I did, but it, they, they didn't have it in stock. And then we found those cushions that we want, but they had, like, six of them on display, and we only want two, and they didn't have any to buy, so we're going to ask about them. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damage has been done. Sean has spent, like, what was it, 113 quid or something? No, 106. 105. Something like that. I would only spend £13, so that's not too bad. But we are now gonna go and pop it in the cart. Look at this spot, it's erupting. I literally woke up this morning and it was huge and I popped it and now it's angry. We're gonna go pop it in the cart and then I'm gonna go for some food because I actually feel like my stomach is eating itself from the inside. Like, not, yeah, not to be dramatic, like I feel like I'm caving in. So I'm sat down at the table in Ikea now. It's so weird in Ikea. Obviously anybody that's been to Ikea restaurant knows that you kind of just walk around and like pick up what you want off the tables. They're not doing that anymore obviously because of COVID. So you come and sit down with like a menu which I've literally never seen in Ikea before and then one person has to like go around go around and go and pick it up and Sean is over there currently going and getting the meals for us bless her and I'm just sat here on my ones and to be honest my phone is nearly dead so I actually have nothing to do hence why I'm talking to you let me show you Sean over there getting the meals dun, 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 dun. Yeah, no, I'm super zoomed in sorry about that as if you all wanted to see me that close up we have to get a can of water apparently. I guess COVID means you can't have tap water, which is just a bit weird, but there we go. <laughs> As I said, I'm not showing you too much, but this place has never even been lived in. So the literal like mattress covers are still on. So I'm gonna make my bed now, but I literally have to take the mattress cover off, which is really great. Ooh. Our flat is so new. It's still got flipping bags on it. Has our life got any better? Sophia and Chintzia, the view. Oh my God. <laughs> life is good. Life is sweet. Makeup kind of all over the place. It's been all over the place today. We're absolutely knackered. Do you think we're gonna order some food? I'm a little like- I'm I'll tell you what sorry. we could do. Cause there's a Mackie's over there. We could go on a walk to get it. It's yeah, it's there. The golden arches. Oh no, it isn't raining right now to be fair. So we actually could go and do that. And then like, it's like we exercised for it. Yeah, because then we because then we don't have to get much or spend much because I might literally just sweet. get like mm -hmm. I might literally just get like just a Big Mac. Like I don't like the chips or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. maybe we should do that. We've both got an Oasis each. And then we've got the cheese bite, which is the new like cheese and herb bites, which I haven't actually tried yet. Well, I've, I've tried them before because they obviously have them like every year, but I haven't had them this year. And then I got a Big Mac because <clears throat> can't go wrong. Also, Sean has never tried. Oh my God, should we try it? Let's try it. She's never tried my beloved... um cheese bites with curry sauce, so here we go. Mmm. Mmm. I love it. You don't it know it gets me. It gives it like a really nice like prime to it. Cool. 10 out of 10. If you don't know. Yeah. Try it. Good morning. <laughs> Why does my face look so puffy today? Right, so I slept all right. To be fair, I woke up like three times in the middle of the night because I left my blind open because I wanted to like leave it open to air and stuff. 
I just slept alright, I slept alright. I haven't got sheets on my bed yet because I've just ordered them, but they're coming on Monday, which is really annoying, but it's fine. I've got an under sheet, so that's okay. Just been uploading a video, so a video's going up today, which I know you guys are gonna think that it's something to do with moving, and it's not, um, but this one's going up the next day, actually. So I've just uploaded that, and it's Saturday today, and this is going up on Sunday, so you'll have two videos in one weekend, lucky you. So yeah, I woke up a couple of while ago, actually, but my face looks so puffy. I had a dream last night, um, I was being bullied by loads of people, like, it was the weirdest dream, like, there was so many people, like, we were all in, like, this house, it was almost like it was, like, a TikTok house or something, I was just getting, like, bullied, like, a bad, like, everyone was just, like, really horrible to me, and I woke up, like, crying, like, you know, when you act like, <laughs> like, in your sleep, I was, like, fully crying, but anyway, I'm gonna sit, I'm probably gonna go in the living room and make a coffee, we are ready for the day, Okay, right. Where are we going? I'm gonna go to B&M first. I need to grab my keys, so I'm gonna drive there. It's only like a 10 minute drive, which is really, really good and easy. And then we're probably gonna go into town. Don't know if we're gonna drive there, we might Uber there. I don't know, it kind of depends if the weather clears up. Currently, it's not raining. I don't know, I think it's supposed to clear up this afternoon. So there we go, but this is my outfit for today. Ow. <laughs> Sorted. Jogger set is from Catch Me. Coat is from Boohoo and bag is from the beloved Claire. Thank you so much, very much, very much, much. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to the car. So, uh, Shauna has to do a coat test, so <laughs> we're gonna do that. And then she wants me to put it up her nose. She's gonna do it down her throat and then I'm gonna put it up her nose. So I thought it'd be quite a funny thing to vlog. <laughs> okay. No, what, wait, what do you want I me to do? I like, tilt my head back. I can't really and, like, see. I need to get... like shove it up my nose, like. <laughs> well, not shove it, like do it gently. I'm scared. Is it not allowed to touch the edges though, is it really? Oh, it can, yeah. It just has to go back way far. Oh, that's okay. Is that enough? Yeah. Mm. I don't like it. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. Take <laughs> out. <laughs> Fat being on, guys. Here we go. I think trolley, I think trolley is the way to go. Because to be honest, we can probably get some kitchen stuff in here as well. Like we need stuff like obviously bleach and that. We've come into Asda, what is it called? Asda Living. Yeah. We're looking at candles. I really like this one because it's got this gold lid. It smells nice. But I don't know if I want the candle or the diffuser. Again, it's candle. I'm gonna get that candle. I feel like a diffuser looks really nice, like on the side. But then, like, that candle is really cute. I also found a bed sheet as well, guys, which is exactly the same as the one that I ordered from IKEA, but it's half less than half the price, so I'm gonna cancel my IKEA order. But yeah. Mmm, yum. Okay, we are back from our shopping. So we went to B&M and it actually wasn't that good to be fair, was it? No. It was kind of, it was like, it was very much like a um, food shop. I look so orange in this light, but I kind of love it. So that, yeah, it was kind of like a more of a food shop one. But then we went to, oh my God, I've never seen one before. It was called Asda Living and it has like all of the clothes in Asda and all of like the, the homeware stuff. And it was actually so good. What? Shauna's obsessed with her so cute Obsessed with her bathroom. <laughs> that is super cute. I love that. We went there and it was actually so so good. Um first thing and I got these two things from BM. I mean I literally just got some new hairspray, very boring. And then I got this really cute little gold candle. Which does smell quite nice to be fair, and I thought that would just look really cute in my bathroom because I'm gonna have little like gold and orange stuff in my bathroom which will look cute. But yeah, when we went into Asda, I got some really nice new towels. Now these were so good. This is a bath sheet. It was eight pounds and they also had like um, bath towels and hand towels and bath mats to match it. But I get paid next week and then I'm gonna buy those because right now, slightly skin and we are going out tonight. <laughs> so I need to save a little bit of money. But I also got hand towels. So I literally got, yeah, the hand towels like four quid, wasn't it? Four pounds at hand yeah, towels. So I got another green one and it was like six. Yeah, million. and this was eight. Really, really good. So I can't wait to put those in my bathroom. They're all nice and soft and just like lovely. And then also, I did tell you this briefly in the shop, but I'm gonna tell you again. So I bought this duvet set because I literally bought, I mean, it's slightly different than the one that I bought off Ikea, but it's pretty much exactly the same. This one was 14 pounds, I think. The one from Ikea was 35. Yeah, so that was slightly annoying, but I am just gonna return the Ikea one. So I got that, which is quite good. And then I got this, which, oh my God, smells unbelievable. And it's got like a cute little gold, like, you can't really see it, a little gold thing there, but I'm like, I can't smell it through there, but I smell the candle and oh my god, it's unbelievable. And again, it's one of those things that like, I will definitely go back and buy the rest of the set because it was so nice. And finally, cute little candle holder because Emily bought us some candles, um, little tea lights. Uh, why am I smelling it? There's nothing in there. <laughs> but we can now put some tea lights in it and light them in our living room. So yeah, that's all I got. Very exciting. 
let's make my bed. So we've decided now, because it's so sunny outside, thank God, we're gonna go up to the roof terrace quickly to look, because you can literally see, I'm not kidding, it's literally like the whole of Manchester, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> Pretty unreal, not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna try, yeah, because it's under that side as well. Cute. Cute. Oh, shit. <laughs> Got the goods, guys. Sean's never had a Taco Bell. I've, actually, I've only had a Taco Bell once. Oh, I didn't think you'd have one before either. No, I only have one once. Oh, I have your experience in this video. No, 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 but I haven't, <laughs> I haven't had a crunch wrap before. Oh, well, so, I made one at home, but I haven't, like, actually had oh. Look at that, and they're like crisps. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Okay, well they're dessert, so they See, need to... Hannah Mojo eat this and dip them in the natural sauce. One day, we'll oh. do a proper milk bun. Next we could literally even sit there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We could start with a series. Like something about like sofa chats or like something like that. We could chat about a different topic every time and ask, pe ask Instagram people on questions. Yeah, on that like topic. a podcast. Mm -hmm, but like, start now. The girl's bathroom. Yeah, but not. The girl's living room. <laughs> it's like the easy girl's sofa. Yeah. I don't know. What's your thinking something? That'd be fun. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 10 out of 10 from us, guys. Mm. Cheers. Mm. What a waste of one night home. I think, no, I think, no. Not on the cheese. I've seen Tana Mojo do it, so I want to try. If she jumped off the cliff, would you do it? <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> I wouldn't do most of the things that she's done, but when I see her do it, it just looks nice, so. Mmm, you should have got two of them. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Look how much higher you are than me. <laughs> it, well, I've got a really long body. Don't get these. What are these called again? Cinnamon swirls or something. Not worth it. <laughs> Do you ever dip like your chips in your milkshake right there? No! So many people do that. Mm -mm, I know mm. so many people that do that. No, they do it for attention. They don't actually no, like chip, it. No, chips. I love it. Chips in a strawberry milkshake. Oh Yeah. No, Comment down below if you do that. <laughs> Comment down below if you do that. That's disgusting. I, I used know to know that. this girl that used to um, dip chicken nuggets in her McFlurry. Now that is weird. Yeah. No, but isn't that the same kind of thing? Milkshake is ice cream, basically. Yeah, I said chicken nuggets. That's chicken nuggets disgusting. in the McFlurry. Ew. That's disgusting. Right. Finito. I'm going to go into Primark now because I need to buy some orange heels. Yes. Need. I don't know if I showed you my outfit that I'm going to wear tonight earlier. I think I went... Did I? Did I? No, I don't think I did, but oh. I've only gone and found the perfect shoes for them. They're size four, not size three, but oh God, to be honest, a... the Dior one. Yeah. 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 But to be honest, they're. Oh my God, there's loads of little Jeeps for the Dior one. That's so cute. I'm sorry, I haven't been in Primark since I've Um, But yeah, they're size four, not size three, but to be honest, fashion has to come first. We went into Primark and they've got so much home stuff. We actually could have literally done our whole home store shops in there, couldn't we? Yeah, we literally and it would have probably cost me way less, <laughs> like yesterday. literally way less. So we literally could have done it all in there, which is so silly. But um, we're gonna go back there when I get paid probably next week because they've got so much bathroom stuff, so much like cushions and like decorative stuff. So we're definitely gonna go back there. But we're in a rush now because it's now half past five. Oh my God, we are in such a rush. We're now half past five, we need to get home, get ready. Open a bottle of Prosecco to be fair. We can yeah. definitely open a bottle of Prosecco, have a little cheeky yeah. glass of Prosecco to cool the nerves of meeting our new friends. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting the party started and hot. Let's get it started in here. Woo! <laughs> 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 All right guys, we're just filming the end of a TikTok. Hi to the vlog. I don't know if I've even shown you my outfit. So this top is from H&M. Jo uh, joggers. <laughs> I wish. Jeans are from Boohoo. Mask is from Fucking Bin. Bag is Primark. Shoes are Primark. Very blue and orange theme today. We love it. This is our guy. Right. Let's go. Oh, I need to put my mask on. Bye. Wait, hold on. There you go. <laughs> you can see it down there. Here they are, guys. Hi. We've got some drinks. You, you do those three and I'll do these three and then we'll swap. <laughs> Guys, look at these two, they've got burgers, we've got bloody, what even is this? Sweet potato fries, we're like to pizza. share, we're we're pizza. with pizza sauce, um, pepperoni and cheese, but it's a share. Guys, <laughs> 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 on 
on top. Girls on top. Girls on top. Girls on top. Girls on top. Cheers, yeah. Cheers. All right, guys. It is the next morning. I'm feeling fresh as a daisy. What can I say? Really fresh today. Really, really good and really fresh. Um, I've literally just woken up. And I'm going to start editing this video. So I'm basically... What is my hair? Actual bird's nest. Um, I'm basically just going to end this video here. So yeah, I hope you've really enjoyed the first moving vlog. It's so exciting. Definitely still a bit drunk, I think. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've really, really enjoyed. I hope I haven't scared you too much with this side that you've got at the end. I love you all so much. And I'm so excited to bring you all on this journey with me. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, go down and subscribe. There's going to be so many exciting videos coming. Lots of get ready with me's. Lots of like tipsy videos lots of fun stuff with my roommate shauna so definitely subscribe if you're not already give this video a like to pray for me today and i will see you next time with another video bye guys